Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. So this was his first single. This is a, this is a big deal in Jimi Hendrix land and it's a great tune. So we're in standard tuning here. And we're going to take a, a, kind of check out all the, the rhythm guitar parts here in that intro. And then um, the solo part will be done in the next video. So stay tuned for that. So let's start here with this intro. All right, so we're going to be sliding here. Uh, we're going to pick the third fret there on the B with the high E open and slide into the fifth fret. Then back to the third fret. Solo those same two strings. Then come down to the G string. You're going to slide, you're going to start at the fourth fret or just, just above the second fret. It could be kind of sliding into the second fret from above and then pulling off to the open string and then you're going to hit the D string and hammer on to the second fret. So as you get your finger there, you just hold an E major chord. Kind of hit it lightly, just the lower part of it, and just maybe again add some of the higher strings in there. To come up to the fourth fret, you're going to pick the kind of bar here at the 4th fret on the A and the D together and slide it into the 5th fret on both strings. Then the low E with it, back to the low E, back hit those 5's. Then bit to the 4, and then open E again. You're going to play this E power chord to end it, so we have this. Then he hits the chord one more time and adds this B note here, which is at the, on the fourth fret on the G string. And then you're gonna come up with typical Hendrix uh, kind of chord work up here at the seventh fret. Bar across the seventh fret on the B, G, and the D string. Hammer on seven to nine on the D. And then hit the two strings that you're holding in that bar on the G and the B together. So we have this. Then do that again. And then end it with the ninth fret on the D. So it is. So all together. All right. Now the chord progression is the same throughout the song, except for this moving bass line that happens a couple times. At which happens you'll hear for the first time after the solo. So I'm going to make it part of the solo video. So that you'll still learn that part, but not in this video. So other than that, we had the same chord progression, which is C major to a G, D major to an A, to an E major. Now I have a, a lesson that I don't know if you've seen before. It's been up. Uh, it's been done for years, it's been on the site for years, kind of showing, demonstrating how to play Jimi Hendrix style chords. So a lot of the concepts we'll talk about in that video are being used throughout this song. And it's more of a random approach that he's taking. So going note for note would just be kind of tedious and not really necessary. We, instead, we just kind of treat it like he does. And I'll show you kind of the variations that he does on the chords. And it'll make it, you can kind of make it your own, just like he does. So anyway, let's start with the basic chords first. We're going to start with a C major chord. You can just play it like this if you want. The third fret, bar the fifth there too, to a G. Now, how he plays this G, as you know, as any Hendrix fan knows, fingers the the bottom note with his thumb, and then third fret on the B, fourth on the G, and fifth on the D. And this finger is going, the third finger is going to kind of mute the A string. That and the thumb together can mute that A. So you can strum across and you don't hear that A. So we have this. 
And then the same thing here at the fifth fret. Now Hendrix likes to do his bars with his little finger as well, and I like playing it like that too. So it's comfortable because I can just leave my hand in this position with my thumb over the fretboard and then go to those kind of thumb chords. So we have, we have C to G, D to A, and it ends with E, just E major. All right, so that's the basic foundation. Now another basic foundation he uses a couple times throughout the song. He just randomly goes between just playing them in a G bar chords and open chords. So it could just be a regular C major as well, to a G, to a D, an A, to an E. All right, so let's talk about the variations he's gonna do. As he's playing this top, this C chord of this shape here, you see how the root is on the fifth string. Well, he likes to take that and move that root till there's a third is in the bass. So this bar stays is now with the first finger, and you can have your third finger here at the seventh fret on the A string. Now, if you bar across all those strings, all four of those strings at the fifth fret, that you have the C major chords right there, but you can hammer on to that seventh fret from two frets down from the fifth fret. So just bar all the way across, and usually what he does, he hits two strings at a time. So you'll hit the fifth and fourth string together, and as you pick, do that, you're gonna hammer on to two frets up on the fifth string. And then you can hit the third uh, string and fourth string together, so those two middle strings, and when you do that, hammer on, once again, the note that's on the bottom string, hammer on to the seventh fret. And again, here between the B and the G strings, you can do the same thing. So, so it sounds great, whatever you do. And when he plays this type of chord shape, he has a lot of variations he can do here too. He has his little finger available, so he can pull off on the fifth fret on the high E string, or hammer on. Same thing on the B string, or on the G. So we have this. All right, so another thing he'll do with this, this chord right here, instead of doing a, a variation with the pinky, he'll do a bass line on that string. Kind of like he did on the other strings, just now it's off the sixth string. So that's just kind of a, a standard Hendrix way of doing it. He'll play this A chord, bar those two fingers here at the seventh fret, and just kind of slide in and just do one of those hammer things too. So he loves doing that kind of stuff. So he's just mixing that stuff in. He'll just play it straight sometimes, sliding into them. And of course, we end it with an E major. And then we have a couple of fills that I'll, we'll talk about too that he'll end. Or sometimes I'll just do the open position chords. And then go back. He's just always just kind of messing around with the chords like that, just his standard chord style. Now these fills that we were talking about that ends this after with the, over the E chord. So the first one you really hear is that one, which is the second fret on the A, open D, done twice. And then you play the uh, second fret there on the D as you start to play the chord again. You also hear this one. So that's just the second fret on the A to the open D again, to the second fret on the A to the open G, and then ending it with the same note. And then you'll hear, you hear that a couple times, which is this the second fret there to the open D, back to the second fret, 
sound in a low G. So don't worry about not getting it note for note with him as he's playing because he would never play it the same way twice himself. Just kind of experiment as you're playing the C chord. And then as you're playing this, you could... You know, you just kind of mix it up and just kind of add his uh, typical Hendrix chord style to it and it'll sound great. All right, so stay tuned for the next lesson and we're gonna do that solo note for note. I'll see you then.